Hello, it is time to talk about new release beauty products of the week. I usually do this on a Sunday, but I've got time now and I've got makeup on, so it's happening right now. Let's start with a holiday release from Glaminatrix Cosmetics. Now, I normally release release their palettes. I usually review their palettes. This wasn't being sent out in PR. Not sure why. Maybe limited stock. Maybe um, they wanted to get it up quickly. Whatever it happens to be, uh, this is coming out tomorrow. Tomorrow. So uh, if you're in the US, it's on Saturday. If you're in Australia, it is Sunday morning, which is tomorrow. So I'm glad I got this up when I did uh, because I also have a discount code if you wanted it. So I do have a discount code with Glaminatrix Cosmetics. It is just the word CAT, K-A-T. You get 10% off your order. Uh, so if you want to use it on this, you totally can. This is going to be 60 Australian dollars, 40 US dollars. They're calling it a magical mini palette. So it's the Fairy Lights Magical Mini Palette with 26 millimeter pans. So I think they're calling it a mini, a mini palette because it is a small six pan palette, not because the pans are small. I think 26 millimeter are the standard like Mac pans so these are the standard fairly decent sized eyeshadow pans includes uh six intense sparkling reflective shimmers one is a holographic um, and they uh, mimic the mesmerizing lights of the holiday season i see the inspiration i think of like tinsel and twinkly lights i totally get it um and this there's no overlaps with their um single eyeshadows they're sort of sparkly ones that they released uh over the past couple of months so if you've got those there's no double ups with this one if you want to see the video of the swatches they've got two videos up but i wanted to show this uh blurred out because you can see that that silver is holographic and these are swatches on a different skin tone so you can sort of see but very very pretty another cute little palette this is from m cosmetics it's the satin's return eyeshadow palette um, and I really like this format of their eyeshadow palettes. I've got one of them and the quality is actually very nice. This is a cooler toned one so if you like more silvery sort of slightly more grey toned browns this is the one you want. This video is very muted so it's hard to see but you can see. Cooler toned nudes, very pretty. Uh, I like this formula. If I was placing an order from M, M Cosmetics I'd pick up more of these palettes because they're really really lovely quality um, but now they've got a more uh, taupey toned one, I suppose. Do we remember that James Charles has a brand? Yeah, well he does, I forgot about it, but he does. Painted, there's a palette. So this is the basic canvas neutral palette, 24 beautiful shades, buttery mattes and glittery shimmers, uh, launching the 14th and 15th, depending where you buy it. I don't, uh, this, this to me does not meet the brief this is not a neutral palette. It's a warm palette for one. And it's no, no, I, mm, I feel like his Morphe palette made more sense. If you like warmer tone shades, so oranges, yellows, uh, red tones, things like that, then you will po possibly like this. I, I think it looks like a, another Morphe palette. I also, this poster, annoys me i feel like it just looks like the most obnoxious influencer known to man and the image of him here looks animated i would not buy anything from this now on to collaborations and gimmicky makeup um essence are doing an emily in paris collection there's a bunch of stuff here uh look Essence is annoying. I feel like I quite like some Essence products, but there's very few releases in the Australian market these days. I feel like they're pulling out a price line. They weren't in all price lines anyway. So it's very hard for me to be like, oh, this is exciting. Not that I, I didn't like the TV show Emily in Paris. There's nothing really enticing about this, but they often do bring out some like nice products in their collections. Like this baked highlighter might be fantastic. This mascara might be the best. Um, so they can bring out some good stuff and really affordable. This is what is in the collection. They've been uh, promoting this lip balm in the pink little pan. 
it's like a is that a double sided one so it makes a full heart that's a kind of cute idea a lot of plastic there though i think this is really cute if you've got like someone that loves makeup getting into eyeshadows i think the colors are really cute i think the pop out of the eiffel tower is kind of cute um not if you're a makeup like super enthusiast this is a bit gimmicky but it's also i think it i think it's nice entry level makeup this person seems very happy with it Glamlight does not want Halloween to die. Um, is this the fourth collection we've seen that's like spooky horror film related? I know we had Chucky. I know we had Scream. And I know we had Friday the 13th, I think. Uh, and now we have Nightmare on Elm Street. There was more, wasn't there? There was a lot. They've done a lot. It's too much and it's too similar. Um, I feel like these collections, one a year is enough. Four in like two months, too much, way too much. I love horror films. I love them. I think they're great and I don't want any of this. The collection contains two palettes. I quite like the grungy green. The red, I don't mind either, but they're very dark. Um, again, all these palettes they've brought out have been very, very dark and very smoky and I get that it's themed based on a horror film but have some some variety in the depth of color um this could have been such a good grungy green palette if there was more than just sort of dark tones in it very dark very black and red if you love red blushes i would be looking at these collections because this is a good way to stock up on red blushes they're not super common um, and i feel like some of these um glam light horror collections have gone into the red blush zone and here is a trio lip products brushes mirror i can't even figure out what i'm looking at that looks so weirdly the composition looks ridiculous ugly bag the last thing i wanted to talk about was this cara beauty creative beauty palette i don't know what cara beauty is i've never heard of it but i think this is funny so it looks like the biscuit tin. Looks like the biscuit tin. Surprise, you got your sewing stuff. Okay, eyeshadows and a little like, what looks like a tomato little sponge puff thing. I know it's supposed to be one of those like needle sticker in a pillow things. I don't use those. I just have my needles around. And I have one of these tins. It's not just your grandma. It's not just your grandma sewing supply. It's me, me. No, me. So 14 pan eyeshadow palette, one mini beauty blender and two mini eyeshadow brushes. I think this is very cute. It's very novel. Um, I think a lot of people will appreciate the sort of interesting factor. I even like how they've got these lines. So it looks like it's like the little um, things of thread or whatever they call it. Um, and you've got buttons. I just don't like the colors. I wouldn't want to use any of these colors. So for me, this is not appealing. Like it was actually... A cool color story and i had faith that the eyeshadow quality was going to be nice this looks so wishy-washy and pastel and like really light shimmers um to me this is something I, I just wouldn't want to wear but i think it's a very fun concept see got it <laughs>